Hello, I'm back. It's 2.28 p.m. <clears throat> so, well, I still didn't get any, any sleep later on. No sleep. And I'm feeling a little bit better as far as the sleep deprivation goes. I mean, the feelings, I'm still sleep deprived, but the feeling kind of somewhat went away after I ate and drunk um, some milk and a little bit of water. So I had me some, I mean, I, somebody, you know, donated me a little bit of money as a gift. So. I used it for groceries and a couple of other little things, you know, but the DoorDash driver this morning, he seen, well, this, after, this afternoon, I think he came after 12 p.m. sometime, but, but maybe 12 or 1 something, I don't know, but he, he seemed like he was a little bit rude, <clears throat> you know, but, um, so... I'm I'm just you know thinking thinking you know I'm feeling like still feeling discouraged and you know not at the moment I'm not feeling motivated to write anything and um I'm not feeling motivated to write anything. And I'm just feeling like, you know, it seems like I've been just attacked by professed Christians. Well, the the year is not even half over, but all year so far. Like qu quite a few people <clears throat> have, you know, attacked and bullied me and make me, you know, not feel Christian enough or not feel like a worthy Christian. And, and it seems like as if they have elitist mentality and think that they're better than me or something. And, and then, you know, to block me and shut me off and feel like I'm not a real TI or that or something like that. And then, you know, to be like, yeah, cause us real, us real TIs, us real ones. You know, like as if they're boastful and bragging. And, and you know, dealing with people who dismiss or um, try to discredit my targeting situation. And they're supposed to be targeted as well. And it's like quite a few people. And... And so, you know, dealing with this targeting, it seems like as if they act like as if they can tell me, oh, you haven't been reading the Bible. That's because you haven't been praying. Or that's because you haven't been having enough faith. Or they'll try to make it like as if I'm not, you know, looked at as favorable by God. I mean, like you act like you think you have God's authority to handpick who's chosen and who's not. And people driving their cars talking about what the sequel link is not on their face, talking about how great God is, and then going around perping and abusing people. And then they perp and abuse you and then say that you're not a real T.I. And bull like total bullies. So I even felt like it seemed like 2015 was the year of me being told like everybody telling me off about myself. <clears throat> and then, you know, now it's 2022. It's the year of professed Christians just, you know, turning against me left and right or shunning me left and right. Like, like as if I have to be considered like punished with being excommunicated by the body of Christ 
you know, and, and, and it's like treated, being treated like when people say, well, that's because you ain't been taking your medicine, meaning the psychiatric medications, when you're taking it faithfully. Years ago, you know, I would take it faithfully. And, and then after, well, they'd be like, oh, that's because you ain't been taking the medicine. And so then I, you, you know, get discouraged and quit taking it. And it's like, I guess it seems like the same thing, you know, if I'm trying to, it's like the closer I try to get to God, that's the more there'll be like a professed Christian who will swoop in and kick you down even harder. And so much hostility. And they, they will, they'll lie and say that, oh, we don't hate you, but they, they have strong hostility and hatred and then treat everybody else better than you and you know make you feel like just so like the worst person in the world and people who walk around here with more respect for their gang stalkers than respect for, towards me a fellow ti but they think that they that they have the authority to shun me as not targeted despite showing my evidence every single day every day especially and that's why i be trying to not even go outside and i even just had to deal with door slamming by him you know it's like i'm just hated like from hated and ignored and shunned everywhere i turn and it's like for me to be heavenly targeted and still go to hell. So I'm, I'm trying to like mentally reflect and reevaluate my life. You, you know, and I, I've been, you know, just feeling very depressed and then feeling like, you know, don't know what to do. And I have been praying about that too, what to do during hard times with food shortages, inflation, and, and um, you know, economic collapse. But, you know, I've been holding on, you know, as I said, holding on, it's, it's like, the perps brag and I must remind y'all that the perps brag and laugh about the smear campaign and false rumor and lie that they created. They lie, there's false room that perps created and then it, they put it in the TI community and, and it's nothing but false rumors swirling around that candies. Um, this nuisance or this troublemaker in the TI community that Candy is, um, you know, that Candy is a paid gang stalker and stuff like that. And, and it's like the ones who are paid fake TI perps, are the, they making these false rumors about me to make sure that even real TIs hate me and don't even want to associate with me. So I'm not trying to be out here for like a pity party or feeling sorry for myself or um, wanting others to feel sorry for me or to, to emotionally bring other people down or anything like that. I'm just trying to figure out what is it about me? You know, if people always have a problem, everybody has a problem with me. And so, you know, and that's why I stay alone all the time and live like a hermit. And, you know, people in society, ever since a little child, been treating me like a pest. And, you know, if they used to tell me without shame to my face that you're aggravating, you're annoying, or you pester people, or you bother people, or you, um, you badger people, so I just withdraw from, but then, you, you know, it, people want to question me, why are you so antisocial? Like the fake foster family 
used to ask me why you're so antisocial. Because I would, I mean, well, I'm not allowed to be social and watch TV. Come to find out, um, it's like being bullied and always excluded. That's why I would lock myself in my room all the time. And then we will always be punished in our rooms all the time anyway. So, so, um, you know, but kind of find out there's a, a different, they were using the word antisocial in the wrong, like in the wrong, the wrong definition or whatever. Forgive me for not um, thinking properly right now. But um, but I don't even know if I got a proper diagnosis for Asperger's syndrome, and which due to the gang stalking they won't do because. Me being diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, it might open up a can of worms with their abuse and whatever MK Ultra. But instead, they want to smear campaign, falsely smear campaign me as schizophrenic and crazy and needing medication. You know. And it's like me being locked up in foster care prison abuse it's, and then being in a cult as I was trying to say you know that's why I, I don't know how to communicate with anybody and then being raised around nothing but abusive narcissists like narcissistic abusers it's like I tried to um, before I even found out what narcissistic abuse was I tried and before I knew about MK Ultra or anything or mind control it's like I try to undo the programming myself I try to undo the programming you know on my own before I even realized what this was all about <clears throat> and you know people have described me to be very you know <clears throat> have a sweet countenance or be very generous and giving and um having a big heart and you know having a pure gentle soul or a beautiful soul or whatever and you know people used to always say stop letting people take advantage of you and so you need to learn how to stand up for yourself and now when I do I'm just this big troublemaker who creates problems everywhere I go when I started to speak up and stop being so scared, when I started to speak up and be bolder. And I'm still working on it, like trying to fight against being scared or pe fearful of people. But the same people who don't want you to fear, those are the same people who try to, you know, in use raging anger to instill fear into you. <clears throat> so... I mean, I'm just trying to mentally process my feelings right now. And if this help, helps to prevent me from, <clears throat> from um, you know, losing my mind or going crazy or having a tantrum or a fit or something or, um, you know, or to prevent me from going into further depression, <clears throat> you, you know <clears throat> so and then people want me to just they want to say forgive the foster family for their abuse and you know forgive them forget about it stop talking about it and just move on with your life but you can't if gang stalkers if you are 38 years old and gang stalkers are reminding you of your abuse by treating you this way and even professed targets too you know treating you in a certain way or say certain things or have certain mannerisms that remind you of your childhood abusers 
you know, and um, <clears throat> so what am I going through this targeting for if I'm not chosen, if I'm not considered chosen? But as I said, you know, so many people who you don't even see them, um, they may not even talk about the targeting at all. But they'll hashtag targeted individuals and chosen ones and drive around in their car all day, you know, you know, driving around in their 2022 Volvo with a deceitful looking smile on their face talking about how great God is and everything. So, and, and it's like, it, it seems like as if people try to make like as if, you know, like, one crumb of food to your mouth is proof that oh candy sold out like am i supposed to starve and be on the streets for it to be proof that i'm you know if, if you're trying to make like that you know that i'm not a real chosen one <clears throat> and, and it's like i've been manipulated into feeling like i'm not chosen and you know people want to talk about the 144,000 and God's chosen God's chosen elect and those same people claiming that are they're the ones who are the popular fakes perping and abusing and tell you you're not chosen or you're not targeted I mean I'm saying this from like my experiences with the so called TI community all the way like from 2019 you know and I was, I was said that I was pretty much, I've been a targeted individual and didn't realize it, but I was new to the TI community and trying to connect with people. And all they would do is call me fake and then block me on YouTube. And then kind of find out, I mean, I was new, so I didn't know how the TI community operated. But it took me almost a year, probably less than a year for me to catch on, you, you know, I had to figure out on my own about there's this thing called, you know, the popular fakes. <coughs> and I had my other blog, <coughs> excuse me, that was targeted by the psychworld.wordpress.com that doesn't exist no more. But on my, I transferred some of those posts on to this blog and one of my first posts was for me to talk about you know how I, I think the um professed ti community it seems like a joke because it seemed like and, and then when the you know what hit at, at the end of march 2020 i started to question you know does it seem like when that started I mean, it seemed like more and more professed targeted individuals, it seemed like a mass majority of them acted like as if they sold out. But I've dealt with people who be like, well, beware of this person and beware of that person and don't work. I mean, uh, you know, be careful of this person and that person. And then they blind you and then they themselves turn around and perp you. You know, but... If I have triggered anybody, I truly apologize and I didn't know and I wasn't even aware that I would, you know. And then if people wanted to try to say, well, you're perping me because, you know, like a guy on Twitter, when he said that I was perping him, I think I told y'all about this because when <clears throat> he was like, okay, show me an example of yourself being targeted. And so I showed the footage of that guy named Natasha. And so then he tried to say, well, yeah, you perping me because of all videos. He said something about that. He had a, a perp experience with somebody named Natasha. 
And I'm like, well, I clearly had no idea because I don't know who you are. And so um, I felt discouraged about that. And I'm like, well, I guess that would be like a pure coincidence or what? You know, if people try to be like, well, Candy's purping me. <clears throat> okay, I'm coming. Um, so, so people be like, you know, Candy is purping me because, you know, if I say I ate oatmeal this morning, she says she ate oatmeal this morning. So, yeah, she's per like, and I'm like, well, I didn't know, how would I know you ate oatmeal? I, I, if if y'all notice, I deliberately, I try to not even wear the color red anymore. Because I feel like I'm considerate enough of others if I've seen other people accused of that. Because I've seen videos of a lot of professed targeted individuals wearing red. And, you know, if I try to be extra cautious to, to not wear the color red. Because I feel like, <clears throat> well, you know, I don't want to trigger anybody. I try to keep be mindful of that, trying to keep that in mind. But if you might have certain things personal to you, you know, because if, if certain professed targeted individuals, you know, if they constantly say, well, this, that, and the third, and I tell them in a nice way, I say, well, I say, I know you didn't know this, but it triggers me if you say this, that, and the third, because it brings back, you know, like unwanted, intrusive, you know, thoughts and flashbacks of one of the guys who recently raped me within the past, you know, several years or whatever, you know, and so, oh gosh, I can't tell you nothing. It's like, I got to walk on eggshells for you. <clears throat> so, and it's like, well, wow, how insensitive, you know, but it's like, if somebody try to do something like deliberately trying to um like after y'all two get into an argument and they do something that they know gets underneath your skin then i feel like if somebody's you know doing it on purpose to get underneath your skin and make you mad like calling me greedy you know what you're doing and you're doing it on purpose you know so that's in intentional when you call like so but then some people can be kind of subtle with their perfing and you don't really catch on and i'm too slow to catch on too slow mentally to catch on you know so if i'm too mentally slow off and retarded despite having a bachelor's degree and i'm such a like a stain on society and such a nuisance and being told by people younger than me well if you were acting in it and like if you act in a mature man or and not being a nuisance yeah acting if you act in a mature manner and not be a nuisance i'm like who the hell you so freaking high-minded you know you don't think you're capable of, um or susceptible of um you know acting out of character given a certain circumstance so you know I feel like the professed TI community, all you bastards owe me a damn apology for falsely accusing me of being fake and trying to discredit my story despite me suffering. And then you want me to stop talking about my suffering and stop wearing my heart on my sleeve <clears throat> and um, stop broadcasting my traumas to the whole world because nobody cares. And everybody want me to just shut up and sell out, and I keep fighting against it. They're trying to get me hard, and I keep battling against it. I've even tried to pray about it, you know. <clears throat> and I got I keep saying I got to be extra careful. It seems like it's just trying to not slip on a banana. That's how, that's how it is. Trying to fight, <clears throat> excuse me, fight every day against this and if I like in the past like in 2019 I was still new and still learning so if I thought somebody was 
a like a not a real target or if they if they were if I mistakenly thought this person was a perp my mistake I apologize but you know even in 2019 everybody was doing videos and talking about their targeting and then everybody was blocking each other and calling each other fake and a perp and stuff and it's like well if like it's like well this so-called chosen ones y'all can't even properly identify each other or have the proper discernment and if you deal with somebody who tells you if you know you're being heavily targeted they see you being heavily harassed and everything and then they'll come at you and tell you <clears throat> that well you know candy i've been doing some serious fasting and the lord told showed me that you know that you were perp well the lord showed me that you're doing witchcraft or the lord showed me this or the lord showed me that or whatever like dealing with lisa ruby and stuff like that you know or tracy broadhurst and other people and stuff like that <clears throat> so well i'm gonna see y'all later